Hello, my name is Riley Gunderson. Today I'm going to discuss my art, my process, and the subject matter I am most inspired by. I started making art at a very young age. As long as I can remember, I've been drawing, painting, and making things. I found it to be my favorite way to pass the time, and it continued to be my favorite subject in school. My father is an artist and was always painting around the house while I was growing up. My dad got me started with my love of art and encouraged me to continue to create. He was my very first teacher and still one of my best critics. My parents were supportive of my art and always knew it was the path I would take. They never discouraged me from pursuing art. I come from a family of artists besides my dad. My uncle and aunt are very versatile artists but focus a lot on sculpture. They've always been an inspiration and an excellent resource in my life. In 2013, my family and I moved from Iowa to Georgia. I learned a lot from my high school art teacher there and was inspired by my surroundings in Atlanta. It is a city full of art and culture, and without this life experience, I would definitely not be the artist that I am today. I decided to go to art school while I was in high school in Georgia. It was a very easy choice for me, and I did not consider looking at other schools besides Savannah College of Art and Design. I got accepted and moved to Savannah, super excited about being around other artists and starting my career. I ended up feeling very limited, however, and the school was not the right fit for me. I left SCAD after a semester and ended up moving back to Iowa. I knew Iowa State had a good design program, so I took the leap of, leap of faith and moved away from my parents to a school 14 hours away. During my first semester at Iowa State, I was unsure of what major I would select. I figured out that they had a studio arts program that would allow me to explore, which was exactly what I needed since I felt very lost at SCAD. I fell in love with assemblage and using found objects in my art when I was a freshman and it is still something that I love above all else. I finished my year at Iowa State and felt like I had finally found the space to explore my ideas and learn different ways to create art. I got accepted into the Integrated Studio Arts program and was so ready to learn as much as I could. I began my studio process and started to take different courses like woods, metal, ceramics, and painting. I was very ready to become a jack of all trades. In my first painting studio, I made this piece, which was very blended, and it is a painting I still love, but at this point I had yet to figure out my style. Painting in this style did not quite feel right to me, um, so I tried to find artists that painted in a different way. I discovered Zena Hausner, a contemporary painter during the same painting studio. She paints the skin in a way that was so appealing to me. It screamed out to me and she became a huge inspiration for me. This is a portion of a self-portrait I completed and the beginning of my painting style that continued to grow. I took a collage studio and instantly figured out it was one of my favorite ways to make art and convey my thoughts. I loved being able to use mixed media and collect found objects. I submitted my piece to the Biorenewables art competition in 2019. My book was made of all found objects and materials. The book discussed women in science and the struggle for equality and recognition within that field. I also came back to assemblage in that same, um, same studio. and made another piece of all found objects with paintings and some printed images of my own hands. Collecting objects and going to thrift stores has become an essential part of my artistic process. I continue to focus on gender roles and the way women are represented in my art as well. I love putting pieces of different things together to make a coherent final product. My grandma passed away in 2018 and I was given a bunch of her old glass. My grandma taught me how to make stained glass at a very young age. She would create stained glass with me every time I visited her in Wisconsin. 
In 2019, I finally put some of the glass to use, and it felt a lot like collage to me. There were two pieces, these were two pieces I made for other people, and it was the start of an inspiration to use glass in school projects. I started to incorporate glass into projects and drew from my own experiences with mental health. This series was about anxiety and the various ways it can present itself in my personal life. I started to really think about how important mental health is to me. This is another piece from that same glass series. I thought a lot about the various meanings of certain colors during this particular project. I have finally found a painting style that suits me in my last few years of school. Uh, this piece was from 2020. I enjoy the painterly style and I believe it aligns better with my subject matter and the themes that are important to me. I enrolled in an independent study at the start of my senior year last semester. I began a series of books about the topic of changes during COVID-19. So much changed for me during the isolation and lockdown, such as changes in faith, changes in myself, and my relationship. I went back to bookmaking since I'd not made a book since 2019. I love the crafting process of a book and the tactile experience of viewing it once it's finished. This is the second book in my series, which was about changes in my relationship. I used old magazines, newspapers, and other objects I have collected during my undergraduate years. The final book in the three-part series was about how I have grown. I struggled a lot mentally during COVID-19 and had to adjust to making art alone without the studio community that I was so used to. I'm incredibly happy with what I've learned, not only about ways to make art, but about myself. I will continue my artistic journey while also pursuing a master's degree in clinical mental health counseling. I hope to combine my passions of mental health and art together in the future, because art has always been my greatest escape and the best way for me to cope. Thank you so much for listening.